Ah, this prayer travelers has been existing for so many years. Travelers here since 1996. And it shall say a bomb pie. I'm a Ghana man, your bomb pie, I'm a Christopher, your bomb pie, I'm a suffer for your bomb pie, I'm a suffer. Ne a man a man be brave. Into one day, you must empty away be an amour at the ma yeah international prayer travelers for and day more and a DB and a senior so I didn't be a me feel so see a sound cost near bohom pie. Although ya ye year a twenty-one days fasting, no, I'm saying out of four nan see any year twenty-one days fasting. I a bomb pie the magan, a bomb pie my yas ya fanina, near bomb pie my the church and the body of Christ. She onyan couple to me best sunny and that before the second coming of Christ on your bomb pies on yami my revival be in see our gun as so God must remove and erect the unwanted lizard. Leaders be a moon fi on yan kupon. One and yang yamin wa from one and yam kupon do must see position be a so or man or gana. God must erase them. And we have called upon the spiritual erosion to take place in Ghana to bring forth a divine overflow and a divine of things in Ghana. And we have called upon these things in nothing within the the past year and this year, no, yeah, we have bumped our Ghana pan. Now near the brainy see what my Ghana mo. And some of these things are the, because of the prayers of the saints, the prayers of individual Christians. Be almost get that, and I say the congregationalists be almost get that, and as the believers be, and they bomb pie. These people they don't talk. These people they don't voice out. You don't hear them in the media. You don't hear them from anywhere. But they are seriously praying for the nation Ghana. Out of all, they be our be our team in every year international prayer travelers platforms. And I say they be our team and can be another for start prayer. Join it and pray for this nation. And pray for this particular person. Me Baba can who ask someone. All of all, Nyanko Pombe raised a lot of leaders, a lot of a suffer, a D4, uh, what evangelists, uh, apostles, pastors, teachers, wherever you can, even politicians. In the people in Nyanko Pombe do almost see how one is so Nyanko Pombe do almost see how almost this, I'm almost disappointing Nyanko Pombe. God is about to reposition them and redefine things on the land of Ghana. The mother Ghana, oh, let us rejoice and give glory and thanks to Yeshua Hamashiach. Yende nyanko pon ase, se o nyanko pon di min sufu frobi e ba o mayen ni mo, wabay si san niema bibri. Wow, we o niema su yesu di e nyanko pon. Oh, obe pejao, obe oke siye, no obe koswa siye, u eni mo nyam, e o kainsu nanko so. Other four, e mo di e bi a happy in two times, anasi two occurrence, e ti empe mi enu, e si... The previous day, and then next was NC. We almost enter into the, I mean, we almost enter into the new month, but within the end of this September, and as September of this 2019, I said, uh, in the revelation, this is what happened. Uh, in the revelation, the Lord took me, Adonai took me into the supernatural room. You know, uh, those who know me, a lot of people call me, are the weeping prophet. My mission, let me explain my mission to you as a weeping prophet. Eh, send any people ten years maybe can I see ye? Na on the cost of bomb pair more man Ghana. Weeping prophet, me jumani be ah what's a me From the book of Jeremiah chapter one, from verse ten, that here is the word of the law. I said today I have placed you over nations and kingdoms. Nyanko pon say I have placed you over nations and kingdom and you only Ghana. I'm not speaking, or I don't speak for only Ghana. I speak for a lot of nations and over kingdom and not only a hindi but a kingdom. So I'm gonna talk about one particular kingdom and that's one particular preacher and that's one particular personality of. And the next thing is saying, Nyanko Ponce to uproot and to tear down. Nyanko Ponce be be any be an or see a bomb pie any you free as I say so. Now never be any be or see a tear any down. My goodness. And then number two, and as number three, see, to destroy and to demolish. And then number four, no, near to subium. 
or say to build and to plant. See a big senior big year. You know, it is this every prophecy, the final thing, and I see the 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 final authoritative word of God, you know, a nyanko pon kom se bian, a dear a bay a year, and as finally a year said in two a be building, never planting. Every prophecy must end up building and planting. It can be in a bit man come she basa, a bit man come she hu a bit man come she whatever you can name of it. But at the end of the day, every prophecy must build and to must also do what plant. And then come she ya be kana se a dia me no baba discussion. A dia me pesi yoko na gana fui na ba umpai. Amra ya international na se prayer travelers for yesu ya si ya nimse ya ba umpai. Or of all, I'm going to talk about one prophet of God in Ghana. Ghana Sky, the sky is our limit. Onyanko Pony Pebi, I have a prophet doctor, Kofi Odro. This is the man I'm going to talk about. In the realms of the spirit, Nyanko Pony a Biemini, no Opeja, I mean, a call in Pempensubi. Now, what in that particular environment, that particular realm of the supernatural? I saw this prophet, Dr. Kofi Oduru. Now I saw one musician. And I saw another man of God. In that particular time, I said, 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 I I saw said, I said, Kawa aina chaina na dani kumne purely gold and diamond things ya Afra Afra kose se sika sika anga sa ena dani kum ne mla na dani kum muse every side two chains ana se aina muse dani kum biyan kita kita keys and ye only one key but keys upon keys na key biyan ene biya wonya aye a bi biya a dani bi a bi biya ministry bi a bi a lot of things but whilst I was talking with this prophet of God. Me who said precope, oh ye, the first chair done a common, oh ye, not the ma, sign you mutinino. Now, secondary, or sign ye, and the next chair done a common, the ma, the next man of God. Now, how I may be signed so deep for? Now, then I started to think, say, ah, but I said, what's sorry, I would, you know, would dine and who suck for an hour, ma, only pay. Ghana Sky, the sky is all right. Onti ako se bibia was ki bia kitana was or no di edi juman or presented that key no edi ma sa osofo no. Na instantly you know I came back from the revelation. That was day one. So I started to meditate upon this revelation and I started to think and pray over this revelation. I went out and I came. Day two, I said I'm making. In the day two, no, then I got the meaning and the interpretation of this revelation. Because there are revelations which you are not very careful. You use your unipa agin, and as unipa usu, and as your your thinking, you the better interpret it into suit your own way. But in the second day, you no, know, the revelation continues. And this is what I saw in the second day. In the second day, the spirit of the Lord, Adonai, took me into another ranch. I was taken, lifted from this ranch into another level of ranch. In that particular place, you know, I saw, say, the clouds was open. And I saw a lot of people, blacks and whites, standing there. And I started to talk, and I, I mean, started to review the mysteries and what I saw about this man unto the people over there. Why the man of God was standing there? Uh, prophet Kofi Drunon Sujinahobi. In this realms. Now me catch on so when you know M Pedro Montino Mushu. Because at that instant in that realm, you no, know, I saw said the heaven was open and I saw a lot of dove. A bubro I'm saying Evan saying a bubro and I say dove at Amu Nam Vim and a lot of beautiful birds, white and the cloud was so beautiful. And I told them so I'm she no mush has be a his or she. And that sign was to confirm that the presence of God was due to fall. The presence of God was due to accomplish whatever we were talking about and discussing. Now, Mitzrayani said, Revelation, that was why I interpreted the dream. And that's the revelation unto the man of God. So, what I saw was that the man of God, 
it was two things I interpreted it. That one, I said, the man of God is either as either finished for you in a juma, and the old give you the keys. Then the near mama only perform for no what And number two of the interpretation was, sir, why you am from Swabi, and now sir we free on your coupon. A crunch of baby be a yaman castle on ye. And ye ye na who are the anasi, Niama or Timmy di and Yamiju and Edia Moni Pafufro. And to me catch it in the revelation, we say, Oh, more umpire. No, on seek the face of the law. Whatever he has done against Onyakopon in one way or the other, no, no, or uncorrect is our dear. So, what I am announcing today to our team, and I see the prayer traveler said, Oh, see a bumpire, this man of God. A bet to Maba said, Oh, ye be, but only the officer had a crown on, no, but not in the sight of God. Because this revelation has occurred two times. And yet one day, second day it happens. And then, oh, here the hand of God. Oh, here empire. Oh, here say, GD for the bomb pie. I'm a prophet, Dr. Kofi Odru. Oh, here empire. And yes, sir, later, whatever we hear, no, may not be good. But as this particular moment, in, as a weeping prophet, oh yeah, when I woke up, I was just crying. Now, Misu, Misu, my Odifu is adding here. That is Prophet Jeremiah. That's the weeping prophet. I cried before because the hand of God is not easy to attract the hand of God to function in your life. It takes years. It takes time. And a minimum from so many years in the nineties. He started so many years ago. It is today that a lot of Ghanaians are hearing about him. So anything that maybe is, will contradict I'm the calling of God in his life, today we're going to pray against it. Anything that will cause him I mean to, to deviate from the will and the purpose of God, we're going to fight against it. Any purpose any programs of the enemy that will cause a paradigm shift of the calling of God or a paradigm shift of God's divine programming upon this man of God to another leader, we're going to pray for him. We have already prayed, but we are going to pray the more. It is time that we intercede for the nation. We intercede for leaders. We intercede for pastors in Ghana. People who are standing for the right. People who are standing for the truth. People who are standing for the, the pure Christianity or the pure congregationalist world. Ghana sky, the sky is falling. You know, the church is falling. The church is deviating from the purpose and from the calling of Yeshua HaMashiach. So it is time that we stand and pray for this nation, Ghana, and the entire body of Christ in the whole world. As prayer travelers, our duty is intercede. Your boot tie say already, you have a you have bomb pie my uncle and cruel beer. To the four be our platform in so I'm not so see a bomb pie. Emma in Yamini Pa, a year prophet, Dr. Kofidro. Your mom pie man. So in Yanko Pong, very redefining certain things in his life. A bill how we call something the uh, the certain omission and commission. Yeah, only maybe how I hear why you but no one who's why you and only maybe how I ya unim. And your bomb pair of a man of God. Don't take it as a joke. Don't take it as something you could do in grow. We perceive your bomb pair man. So you can't go on a two minute and a whole day. Be a be free in life. So you can't go on and look down upon him. On brand so no more shiny day in your life. So important when we are doing that is different thing. But sometimes there are a lot of men who don't finish their duty and their calling. And Yanko Pon said, There are a lot of preachers in Ghana. They are just preaching. They are just almost um, yeah, the day. They are just making noise in Ghana. They have, even an iota of anointing is not upon them. They are just making noise in Ghana just because of what they will eat. I know a lot of them. Right from, I think, from 1998, 99. Right from Konongo Kumasi, from Accra. I don't know these guys. Some of them are just making noise. They have nothing to give. But it is time that we pray. Talking cannot solve the issue in among 
I mean the Christian or the believers in Ghana. It is prayers. We believe in prayers. We believe in intersection. This is the power to change lives. This is the power to change dimension. This is the power to bring the hand of God. It is only the word, the word of God and power, prayer that can transform things. Therefore, our platform is should be said. Ye tu ye husi o ni e bon pa e ma a sofo e wa gana. O amon su amon fri nyanko pa anu. Ye nyi omon fri system anu. We need to cause the wind of revival. We need to cause spiritual erosion. En su jiri bi yin jiri nem fafa yon krofo ni fri asa asene so. En tu wherever you are. Se o timi ni. Na yo sofo. Hey. Weeping prophets ya kaya hon. It's my team. We are taking hold of the nation Ghana. We are taking hold of the entire world. Revival is about to take place, and it is on a pipeline. Nyanko pom, it is a by you are afan enyina. Obe se san shebre, no be seen as safu as never before. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it, unyami eba be ye. All those who know me from Assemblies of God, Ghana. Yes, unyanko pom shuro ni pe biya. We are speaking for the nation Ghana. Unyanko pom shuro ni pe biya and take hold of these works of prophetic word and begin to pray for this man of God. That the Lord will speak on his behalf. That the Lord will bring forth restoration. That the Lord will bring forth a transformation in his life once again. Whatever is happening, he knows himself better than we do. It takes the Holy Spirit to know what is hidden and what is in the secret realms of the supernatural. We commission and we arrest every negativity. We pull down every strong man and every stronghold that take hold of the nation of Christianity of the nation Ghana. Take hold of the believers mentality. That take hold of the believers. Take hold of the congregationalists. Take hold of the pastors, teachers, prophet, evangelists. Today we stand as a prophet unto the nation. As a prophet to raise kingdoms and to raise nations of God. We destroy and dismantle every activity. We come against every works and we program of the enemy. We speak liberty and freedom into the nation Ghana. We speak re-establishment. We rebuild the nation Ghana with the supernatural power of Elohim. We declare new plants in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare divine acceleration to take place in the supernatural. We proclaim divine achievement in the nation Ghana wherever the enemy has established. Today we stand as a weeping prophet. We proclaim Claim divine power, divine authority, divine unction to find you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We reestablish and redefine leaders in the nation Ghana. We command them to begin to function as they are called to function. We proclaim and reposition them, and let them we declare bones to come back to life. We declare anointing to be restored. We declare prophets to be revived. We declare apostles to revive. We declare evangelists to be revived. We declare every calling musicians to be revived even the dead leaders we are calling them back to life Makatali and Dokotobri and Diria we speak re-establishment redefine of things Yeshua Hamashiach we stand under authority under the influence of the most high God under the influence of the Holy Spirit we declare new rings of the Holy Spirit a new revival upon the nation Ghana we rebuild the nation in the supernatural. We call every leader that is not planted by you. We pull them down. We destroy those leadership. We demolish every authority that has not come from you. We reposition things once again. Makatali and Dokotobri Kataya, Biakotosi Katali and Dokopori and We declare and we infuse your presence into the atmosphere of Ghana. We settle your glory to settle in the atmosphere of Ghana. And we command the wings of Elohim. We command the wings of the supernatural. We command the wings. Ghana Sky, the sky is calling. My God and my goodness, to settle in the atmosphere of Ghana and to control the affairs of every office, the affairs of the prophetic office, the affairs of the political office, the affairs of the apostolic office, the affairs of every Christian, the affairs of every believer, the affairs of the congregationalist, the affairs of every religion under the influence of this atmosphere. Father, we commit Ghana once again unto the hand. We commit the sitting president unto the hand. We set his mind and his focus 
onto an agenda in which he was voted for. We declare him man set up back to the purpose of the people of Ghana. No demonic authority once again. No principalities and rulers of darkness. We accomplish and we declare the wings of the Holy Spirit to restore and bring revival back to every bone, every hopeless thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We glorify your name, O God. We adore you, Lord. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Accra24.com. We speak the capital.